Hello, Birds and Birds, let's play Legend of Zelda, Zelda Oracle of Seasons! Last time, we, well, went into Holodrum. Saw so didn't get kidnapped immediately. Literally. Uh, <laughs> literally in the first, like, five minutes, uh, ten minutes of the video. And, well, we are going to head forward. We also got our first Link game secret with the fairies. Get ourselves another heart container. In this episode, we're gonna head forward into, well, into our first dungeon. So, follow me. If you're playing along. Hey, hey, you might not be. Who knows? There's over here is another soil patch you want if you want to know. Also, I'm surprised that that area is further than theirs. You can just cut through this piece of grass that was blocking our path for and just keep heading up. And again, like I said, this this game was a Zelda 1 remake, uh, originally, so over here is just a uh, well, something we can insert our key into, and Raise a dungeon that's inside of a tree. Huh, this this dungeon looks very familiar. Surrounded by water, across a bridge, and also, uh, well, and yeah. If you couldn't tell, this is a reference to the Zelda 1 dungeon. The, uh, and heck, if you didn't even know, it's the same shape, too. Level 1, the Gnarled Root Dungeon. Same shape as the bird. Anyways, head up. And this game, again, is focused more on combat compared to the other games' is, uh, well... Focus on, uh, you know, battle. Well, bleh, on the other thing, forgetting things, brain, work. The other game, which is focused on puzzles. So, prepare to defeat a lot of enemies. Okay, we get a key. I'm trying to explore every area, but hey, a key is a key. So, head north this time, and you'll find an old man. Again, reference is all the one. Return lighted to unlit torches! I wonder what that what that what that means. Hmm, I wonder. If you're gonna tell I'm being sarcastic. Anyways. Here's the key. Smack, 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 smack. And get yourself a chest, which contains the dungeon map! Which, yeah, same layout as, as Zelda 1's dungeon. But hey, it's pretty cool. I think. Some some Zoles. Just smack them out of existence. Get all the rupees they drop. And a cart. Along with a only one pay path to go, so we'll head up the cart. Alright, I see. Some mob ones in here? Oh, no, not the Gorias. Alright. Feet you. Head up. Actually, no. Push this crate this way. Pull the way forward. Now head through. I see. Do that, that, and that. So, head up and collect this chest containing a Gasha seed. We'll plant that right away. Hooray! Oop. Aha! Alright. Now we need to head up the stair and, well, hit the switch. The dungeons of this game are much simpler, so you don't have to worry too much about the complexities of the dungeons and everything. But over here's the compass, which is pretty useful for lo lo getting all the chests. Hmm. Oh yeah, we need a key for that. Anyways. Which we do not have. Stay back! <laughs> hmm. A chest that we cannot get yet. We'll have to be back here soon. Or, I guess in the other room. Then just head back. What? The way you came. Head back to the place from whence you came! And here's some bombs! Hooray! Bombs! Alright. So, in here, we now head left. Nothing up, I don't think. Ow. Screw you. Avoid the spinner, and just head into this area. And step on it to reveal ourselves a key! Oh, well, now we can get that other chest, which was locked before. But, head up first. Also easier than the bosses, too, which is what's wrong. Right? Because over here is a cracked wall. Boop, boop. To reveal a, a place full of spinners. Or, uh, blade traps. And you already know that we have to use this in order to get across. It's the spinners. Okay. Ha. How smart the spinner. Oh, boop, boop, boop. Jerk. Alright. Oh, God. Freaking. Ah! 
Let me in! And mini boss time against. Uh, against. <laughs> you cannot pass! Uh, where? What's the boss's name? Uh, what's the boss's name? Uh, okay. This is the brother Goriaz. They'll both. The, okay, that's the actual name of them. They basically throw a boomerang between them. Basically, just keep hitting him until they die, and they're dead. They share an HP bar. But yeah, Goria down. And in this room, and hey, look! I wonder what this is referencing. Another oh, Zelda one reference, if you couldn't tell. Cause push that out of the way, and there's an item. The Seed Satchel is back! From, from well, Oracle of Ages, we get it, the Seed Satchel, and has 20 Ember Seeds. So, yeah, we'll have the same thing with the Ember Seeds. We'll have to get them again, and that's fine. Alright, right, push that. Oh, no. Oh, I see, it's push this block down. There we are. I soiled it! <laughs> I soiled the shape! Alright, that way. And now, it's recommending we head back to the entrance of the dungeon. Yeah. And then head back to the room with the red zoles, which actually doesn't set us the entrance. Heads to the red zole room. Weird. Ooh, nice, nice. And now, light the torches. Using our ember seeds. Some Gorias. Oh, so there was no gate down there, it was just me being dumb. Anyways. Alright, chest containing the boss key! So we're still missing a chest. Which I know what to do for that. I'm pretty- this guide, I'm gonna- it, oh wait, no, it actually does have it listed. Head down here. Kill the Stalfo. Again, this dungeon is pretty quick, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. We are, we are literally almost done with it. That's why I feel- this game is half the length of, eight, oh, length of ages, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. This game is pretty darn short. Like, I beat this game in like half the time that Oracle they just took, but it will expand more as we go on, especially when we get access to the main gimmick of this game. Head up! And another- another- No! No! Anyways. Oh yeah. Gotta hate those freaking Floor Masters! Anyways, in this room, stab the heck out of the floor masters, or stab them, or slash them. I also don't think they stop spawning. Never mind, they do. All right, they're dead. Lure ourselves a chest, and we can find a ring. This is the discovery ring, same as last time. You can find hidden uh, items underneath the ground with digging. So, basically, you, discover, you can see soft soil locations that we can dig up. No, 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 no. All right, heal up and get some rupees. Hopefully, before we enter the boss, that with two fairies was way more than enough. Okay then, and head into face up against the boss. This one being the only other appearance of this boss in the series, Aquamentis. Yeah, Aquamentis returns from the grave! Yeah, and he has a charge attack! Being a much more- a little more difficult than his previous- previous form. Same weakness, though, as last time. You hit the horn. And he should go down pretty fast. He also to, uh... And he's dead. Again, focus a lot more on combat. But hey, it's 5 HP. Anyways. Put that down. We can head it out and get ourselves... Well... The first essence of nature! The fertile soil, an essence of nature. Seeds scattered across bountiful lands are nourished in this fertile soil. <laughs> and we're gonna have to revisit the Mako Tree because we have to get an extra HP uh, thing. <laughs> it's me, the Mako Tree. Some of the theater soil has come to me, too. I already feel stronger. Oh, in my dreams I saw the Temple of Seasons in a strange land. I don't know. There I saw a precious item that will aid you, Link. That is all I can see now. Home. Hmm. 
Anyways, so, time to start heading to- You! You're back! Anyways, she's back. We now can, uh, get our next encounter with Maple! Okay, they'll throw him in the water. Ow, ow, ow! Watch where you're going! You just hit Maple! The Great Witch Syrup's Apprentice! Thinks you won't stuff out of the bag! The Great Witch will be mad! I can't find long long eggs! And now this? I'll just take the stuff you dropped too! Finders keepers! Huh, so she has- so she's looked for eggs. Ah, uh, you- I'll remember this! Anyways... Burn these trees for some reason, because they're under here. Okay. He's an old man! This man is... Shh, don't tell! Another secret- uh, money secret! Cuz, yeah... Yeah, he will, uh... Give them, but anyways... He'll- he- you basically give him a, uh... Again, another Zelda reference to Zelda 1, instead of being a moblin, he- he, he gives you money, but yeah. Alright. So we actually have some stuff to do. First, that Gasha seed that we just planted. Sh okay, we it didn't sprout, but hey, we can plant it now. Also, Impa's now in her hint hut. Where can another temple of seasons be hidden? Does no one have a clue? All right. So back in town, we have some stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do, including starting the. the uh, also, it's summer now. I saw an odd girl in strange garb carrying a ribbon. She was east of town, I think. I wonder if we, that's the way we to go. Now she's a bud, but it'll be a huge flower in spring! If you climb the flower, I can't wait! Alright. Head over to the mayor's house, because that, uh... That seed sprouted into a full... Well... Oh my gosh, that's sprouted sprout into a full ring! Well, I'll be using that soon. Alright, back in the hut. Grab out your bombs. Yes, your bombs. And blow a hole in the mayor's wall. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> and get yourself a secret gasha nut! Ah, we're stealing from the mayor! Haha. <laughs> Alright. And the, and the Gasha Seed spot is back. Uh, we'll save our Gasha Seed. Down here is a piece of heart we can get now, with our... with our fire. Boop, boop. And then fire. And we got us a piece of heart! First of... of twelve. Again, two of them are gotten through Gasha Seeds, and, well, and also Maple, so... We'll head do those later. Anyways, head up here. Oh, you just still don't have it. I guess we have to wait a bit. Oh, the Temple of Seasons, Link. A precious item. It will aid you. Well, I guess we have to wait for you to be done with that. <laughs> Alright, Old Man Left's house. Who's left? Old Man Left. Okay. Old Man Left. Do come in, Vossel Jewelers. Let's see what's appraised our rings. Also, you can get a lot of money in this game. Discovery ring! Just gonna let you know, because if you're you're getting a lot more money in the game. I'll call this the Link Like the Like Link Ring. Oh wow, got a Like Link Ring already. Holy crap. Oh, that's cool. Uh, and, and then as a reward and payment, I light your house on fire. Ah! Oh, ember seeds. And an ember seed tree. We'll use this later to get more ember seeds. I see where Doctor where uh Mr. Left's house is. It's here. Burn his trees down. And get yourself a secret! Containing another old man! This one giving you! Shh, don't tell! A hundred rupees again! Hmm, pretty useful. And if you want to buy gosh seeds, now is the time. But, yeah. So, now we want to head to... Inside of, of uh, Mr. Left's house. Or Dr. Left. A.K.A. Dr. Right. Hmm, the light is hidden here. It's too dim to read by. Can anyone light my fire? <sighs> Splendid! I can finally focus! Here, take this cuckoo dex! You got the cuckoo dex. It's the result of many years of cuckoo research. My books tell me a total of four golden beasts will appear in a, a particular place in a particular season. The four golden beasts, that is a that is a reference to something of a mini quest that we can do. If, I, if you give me a moment to search them up. The four golden beasts in Oracle of Seasons are four gold color enemies with a ton of HP. Uh, what happens when you, uh, defeat- But yeah, if you defeat them all, you get a secret- A ring. This one being the red ring. Wait, yeah. Yeah. We'll be getting all of them. I- I hope. I think. Hopefully. But anyways, blow that up and get- And reveal ourselves a area over here, which is, uh, something we can't do. Alright. 
So we head back to the Gnarled Root Dungeon. Yeah. Her, this... By the way, we've already explored a good chunk of the map already. Uh, again, this game's over pretty quickly. I'm gonna warn ya. Let me through it in no time split. Almost time flat. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Lickety split there. <laughs> Alright, see then. Head up here, head this way. Across the log. By the way, you can tell if a golden beast is yellow by the bean bolt yellow. And in this house is where you could do the next part of the training sequence. My dad Talon went to climb Mount Coco, so he has to care so I have to care for our hens. There's so much I don't know! Say, is that a Kukodex? That'd be a big help! May I have it? Sure. Really? Thank you! Take this! It's a Lomon egg! These eggs are all the rage with the cute girls! The the uh the Kukodex turned into a lawn lawn egg! It's a beauty aid! I wonder if Dad is all right up there on Mount Coco. Well, we'll help him later. But anyways, be right back. All right, I'm back. So, 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 so we need to head back to the village. <laughs> yeah, let's do uh, to Horan. Cause yeah, that's all we came here for. It was a piece of the trading sequence? Cause we could do it. So now we head back. Also, the you're new. Meow. Look, no matter how much I call her, my precious mittens won't come down! If only I had her favorite treat, fish! If only we had her favorite treat, fish. If only. If only. Anyways, uh... Yeah. <laughs> so, back to spring. Yeah, this nation, this country is completely and utterly screwed if we don't do anything. It's, uh... <laughs> we are screwed if we don't fix the seasons, because uh, food is going to uh, die. Not the resort to eating the animals. Oh. Wait, young traveler. I'm a wandering prophet, Sakura. I feel it's spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The forest spirits are calling you. Make no mistake, the Temple of Seasons is still hot hidden in this world. If you can find a temple, then pay a visit to the spirits who live there. Surely they can help. Farewell! Hi, bye, Sakura. Alright, and welcome to Autumn. So, from here, head up. And, the Song of Storms! Head up. He has some moblins. Burn the trees. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Just head this way and. What? It's horrible! A temple! Like, fell into Sabrosa! Or Sabrosia! Um, what's a temple? Sabrosia is a hidden place! Secret place! I must return in secret! Without being seen! Sabrosia? That's a weird person to look at. Looks completely different from any other person we've ever seen. So we need to follow them to their next area, especially the Cena's temple. Hmm. Wait for a bit, because she might turn around. And now it'll get harder. No, 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 Head up. Alright. No. Uh. Wait a bit. Yes, that's why. I always got caught up by that one. Winter Forest, Horn Village. Hmm. Why <laughs> not it's called Winter Forest? And we see a person get teleported. Cause over here is a portal to Sabrosia. Cause tell step on it and We'll head into the underground land of Sabrosia. And if you notice, our rupees are gone. We have another currency we need to use. Whoa, a temple fell into the East Plaza! My, what a strange clothes! Where did you find them? Meet the Mole Men. Pfft. They're literally Mole Men, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. 
If you can do Sabrosian Dance well, you can get a boomerang! Grab items to switch switches and run beasts from far away! Boomerangs are so useful! I'm quite busy. There's a lot of good ore chunks of the temple. In the east? Hmm, ore chunks. I don't have a shovel game. Anyways. Alright. The guy is expecting himself a shovel at this point. Give me a moment. Alright, we don't have that yet, so can't really do anything with that. Alright. We need to head down the leftmost staircase. Uh, what? Oh, I see. Welcome to the Subrosin Smithy! We do the finest work in the land, but we only take on jobs that interest us. The two in the back are masters of the trade. I'm just a manager. Ding ding. Alright, can you get, can you please sell us sell me a shovel? Also, this place is pure has is a full of volcanoes and has lot well Rivers of molten lava. Alright. Let's go get that boomerang that, that guy mentioned. Cause why not? Oh, all oh, right. Ah, what great lava! A lava bath's the best thing after practicing the Sabrosian dance. Do Do you drink lava? <laughs> you know, lava's not liquid, right? It's like it's um, like it's not water. You can't get like hydration from it. It just it burns. This is the Brosian Dance Hall. Good dancers are set up. Get a prize. We're about a, pr a practice. Would you like to dance with us? Yes! Then join the circle! Need instructions? Yes. Press... Do, try to copy what I do. On do, step right. On da, step left. On D, hold a pose. Alright. Don't mess up a bunch of the only of you. Got it? Yes. Okay, let's dance! Just follow the guy's directions, which is much easier. Bum 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 bum. It's a little bit easier, and there's a little bit more leeway in the Goron dance. Seriously. Bum bum bum. Thank you. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 Oh Frick, you're terrible, get out of here! Frickin' A Bum 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 Press the wrong button. Alright. Bum bum It's easier than the Goron dance, but unless you're you play like me. Boom, 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 you're pretty good! You're our best dancer today! Here's your prize! You got the boomerang! Use it to stop enemies in their tracks! And use it to hit switches too, which is pretty useful. But anyways, got that. So... So, we now need to hack the screen of the blue portal, and head back to the staircase to the right. Then... yeah. We're going to, well, continue onward. Head down two screens. Head right two screens. Digging around for more chunks. Digging around for more chunks. <laughs> and head into the temple. Because the temple is right over here. The entrance is right there. Hmm. Your fight you finally come. When the temple was buried, I thought perhaps you wouldn't come to see me. This this temple of seasons is the where we four spirits reside. I've waited a long time for you. Do you like spring? Or summer? Fall, perhaps? But no, you must love winter. Get the Rod of Seasons and visit us who wait in each of the four corner towers. By the way, just letting you know, my favorite season is spring. It's my birthday, you love. <laughs> Anyways, head into the main temple and 
Let's get ourselves in a, well, a means to change the seasons. We get the Rod of Seasons. The main thing about this that makes this thing, well, they can make it this game. You got the Rod of Seasons, we can change everything! With the powers of the seasons. Spirits, it can change the seasons. But it's Now bring the Rod of Seasons to us, Season Spirits, in the Four Towers. Cause right now the Rod of Spirit the Rod of Seasons is powerless. It does nothing. So let us upgrade it. Also, if you notice the the boomerang has an upgrade. Because it's it's level one. So, go to the southeastern door. Bum, bum, bum. Because with our boomerang. Yes, yes, I'm not allowed to this optional, so it is required. You hit that and head forward. Oh, we could also use a bomb. Boomerang's better, though. And there's the season of winter, the fairy of winter. Cool. Thank you for coming, child of the crested hands. I, the spirit of winter, have been waiting for you. Din is our dear friend. Now let me bestow the power of the spirit of winter on the rod you hold. When you swing the rod at atop a stump, the seasons shall change. In winter, the waters freeze, and the snows pile up. Visit the other three spirits, too. Please hurry to Din's aid. Alright. So, we now have the power of winter! And now if you look at our, our rod of seasons, we have one- we have something in the four corners. So now we can change the seasons to winter. And, and right now, only winter! Yeah, we'll get the other ones later, cut with right now they're blocked with things. Oh, the rocketry. So the item was actually rot the Rod of Seasons! New roads will surely open with its power. I dreamt of woods in the east. There may be an essence there. Link, can you go for me? But, yeah. We'll go for you, Sleeping Tree. But if you can't go to the other ones, yeah, we can't go to that underground passage there. Up here, I think, is blocked by a hook, by a, by a key. Another one is blocked by the rock's feather. So, yeah, we're gonna be getting a lot of the items that we got from from, from Zelda One. I mean, not from well, not Zelda One, from the other game. But hey, we are gonna get a lot of the ones from this game, from the new unique ones of this game as well. Yours all in chunks. Like, for instance, uh, I'm just gonna give an example. We will not be getting the switch hook in this game, we'll be getting something else. That's the only one I'll be giving a hint to, unless otherwise stated. Also an upgraded boomerang, as you can probably tell. Also, if you notice, we got two upgrades last dungeon. We got bombs and also, uh, and also the, uh, seed satchel. Oh, by the way, we were basically done here in Subrosia, by the way. Having rupees doesn't do any good! You need ore chunks! Yeah, ore chunks. We need a shovel, which we don't have, so can't do anything about that. So head out. Alright, so next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, we are going to, uh, I mean seasons, we're going to head forward and do another secret, fun fact, and uh, head to the next area of the woods. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.